Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Super Sonic JB, and welcome back to Kirby Nightmare Dreamland for Nintendo Game Boy slash PC. So, Kirby is right now in the middle of the so I should probably start talking. Oh no, panic! 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 Calm down, guys. Hey, what are you doing that for? Okay, I see ya. Anyway, since this guy very rudely interrupted my, um, intro here, um, last time we, uh, completed the CDE, or we completed the seventh world of the world, and the CDE, and all that stuff, and I'm going to take on these final bosses and stuff, so that's the nice thing. That's the first thing we're going to do right now, so there's really nothing to worry about right now. Give me full health now? I really doubt it. Cause up next we have the final, the true final boss battle, Nightmare. Everybody knows Nightmare is an awesome boss battle in this game. This is honestly probably one of the greatest Kirby final boss battles in history, right here. It's like it's so awesome. Listen, there he is back there. He's all pixely and everything. Never got the Game Boy game. Oh, Warp Star. Let's kill him! He's Nightmare once and for all, he needs to pay for all his heinous crimes. I love how Kirby always lands like that, he just pays for all the time and everything. Alright, so now what we gotta do is, Nightmare is impervious to, uh, whatever like that. Now what we need to do here is, just try and focus on that game like that. Let's keep it up and... He went right into me! Thanks, Nightmare, thanks! No, 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 thank you! Thanks for that! You know, it's just like, you got this moving screen and everything, it's just really cool and everything. Oh, stay away from me. Here we go. It's ought to be good. And we blew up a piece of the moon. Nice. Nice, Kirby, nice! Bravo. Bravo. Our hero Kirby has fought bravely to recover the star rod. Yay! We did it! But King Dee didn't mean any harm. Aw, King Dee Dee Dee. Seeing all soft now, huh? He certainly wasn't trying to harm the Fountain of Dreams. That's good. That's a good thing. It all began with the Nightmare Spirit in the Fountain. Okay. The nightmare Spirit the current huh? of the Fountain of Dreams. I see it. Yeah. Greg wreaks me havoc and tormenting the residents of Dreamland. Look at King D. He's like a big blimp right now. Did King D hit the star on the power source of the fountains of dreams? Yeah, what happened? We dare fall, DDD. 
who's actually hiding and safely away from the nightmares. I see ya. She can you use me and good guys once. Borrowing can use power Kirby managed to defeat the nightmares. Yay, we defeated nightmares. See you in the anime though. <laughs> As the star eyes return to its fountain, everyone's dreams will return. Everyone's dreams will come true. So fluff up your pillow and get ready for a good night's sleep. <laughs> Yeah, it'd be good for some sleep right now. Okay, but... Back on track here, just through the star on. <laughs> Back in the fountain of dreams, there we go. And now people in Dreamland can dream again. Now we can still keep calling, keep calling it Dreamland. Well, it's not dreams. Why would we call it Dreamland? Bye-bye, Kirby! But here we go, folks. We completed Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland. So, as usual, I give up my opinions on the game. So, here we go. Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland. Um, it is probably one of the best. Uh, I'd, I'd say it's one of the best Kirby games, period, to be honest. Because, um, you know, it's just, it's just like, how do I describe this? Um, it's just laid out so well. Um, those are a lot of fun to play. The bosses are a lot of fun too. I love that boss battle right there, by the way. He's a lot of fun. Um, yeah, the boss battles are really good. Um, the story itself is just alright. I'll give it that. But the main thing I like about the story is it, it just kind of reminds me of um, just like a classic Kirby story. It's like one of the most classic style Kirby games I've ever I remember those two. The easiest boss battles in history, practically. And look, what, did he even do anything to you? Look, that guy's just staying in the. In the what's he gonna do? <laughs> Okay, is he powering up the moon? Is that what he's doing? Okay, man, uh, yeah, that was just way too easy to talk over here. The story is just, I mean, it's alright. Um, there's just not much to it, I think. But then again, there's not much to it, Kirby story, period. Um, yeah, it has, like, Kirby, like, kind of, uh, return dreams to the people in Dreamland and everything from the evil nightmare. And, um, well, I gotta say, I love Nightmare. He's, like, my favorite Kirby villain of all time. Mainly a lot of people fear Kirby Gun. I mean, he was in the anime too, and I loved him in the anime, by the way. He was in the anime. I love him as a boss battle too. I think final boss battle for this game is kind of very fantastic. Even though that was really easy and all, like, the only issue I had with it, but it's just so cool, like having the background move around like that and everything, and you have to shoot him with, like, you don't even have to use the power up, you have to use the star rod. So it's kind of like you have to be careful where you go. You got fired a star at him for to kill him or anything. I gotta say, that was really cool, though. Um, yeah, the story itself, um, I love how it does, like, have PG and Manag in the story like that. PG kind of has, like, more of a purpose than he did, like, in the other, like, some of the older Kirby games before this. He just has more character development, and, like, he becomes, he starts off with, like, a mean guy and all, and then he just kind of, you know, he just kind of warms up on you and everything. And I gotta say, the boss of this game were fantastic. Night and Night and KD, it just blew my mind, and, this is probably the best Night and Night and KD boss battle of all time, I'd probably say. Um, yeah, that's saying a lot, especially for Night and Night. Well, actually, actually I'd say KD is second. I'd say his first one is in, uh, Kirby Superstar Ultra Revenge of the Game. Yeah, and, um, the levels are a lot of cool, too. I love how they're all named after some kind of food and everything, so, that was a nice little thing to know here. Um, yeah, the game controlled pretty well for the most part, I think. Here we go, now you can play a new sub game, Boss Endurance. Sweet! I don't think we're gonna do that at the end. Um, yeah, this game's a lot of fun. I enjoy it. It's my second... I'd say maybe my second favorite Kirby handheld game. Um, it'd probably be the top 10 Kirby, maybe favorite Kirby games for me, too. So, um, yeah, my first favorite handheld Kirby game would have to be Kirby playing a Robobot. Um, yeah, I, I won't be doing that. I'll explain next. Um, I, I don't know what Kirby next... Or let's play. I'll do next. So I probably won't be here for a while. I do plan to do another game instead of Kirby right now. But you know, I just did this game because I love this game a lot. It's a lot of fun to play. I suggest you try it out either on Game Boy or on PC. You can find it on the internet by just googling Kirby Nightmare Dreamland online. So yeah, overall this game was a lot of fun. I love the boss battle. The stages are fun. Although some of the stages were a little bit short, but they're still really creative and a lot of fun. So yeah. So in the end, I'd probably give this game, um, 8.5 out of 10. That's my final judgment. So, yeah, we're gonna stop it here. So thank you all for watching this series and supporting it. Like this video, hit that like button, comment, subscribe to my channel. Alright, until next time, bye guys.